we felt compelled. I mean, I, you know, it's not really a decision you make. I think you're sort of, I don't know, um, perhaps called to do it. In other words, why would I go through so much? Why would I have so much experience with mental health and go through the things I did and then not share it relative to it helping somebody? I think this could be bipolar disorder. It was out of the clear blue sky at one of the best times in my life. The story really is about mental health, but it's about loyalty. And those main teams back in the day that stuck by me and my family during hugely difficult times. And we continued to win and have success and win championships. And that was sort of amazing as well, that we all kept it together and great things happened out of tremendous adversity. I struggled early with all the mental assessments and the constant feelings of anxiety and inadequacy. I mean, 25 years ago, you're exactly right. Uh, it was a sign of weakness. It was not something was talked about. It was held in families. The shame and blame game, you know, con continued privately. Obviously there's a genetic component to this and there are not enough resources and they, there weren't enough resources. And I think now there is certainly more of an understanding about mental health. People are talking about it more openly but I still think the narrative needs to change and be adjusted. The book, Secret Warrior, is available for pre-order now. It will go on sale everywhere February 16th, which happens to be Joanne's mother's birthday.